Dear students, in this short video, we will talk about normalized wave functions. I have told you that if psi is the wave function of a system and psi star is its complex conjugate, then the total probability of finding a particle in a volume element d tau will be given by an integral this psi star psi d tau is equal to 1 wherein 1 reflects 100% that is the total probability of finding the particle in this volume element is given by this integral however sometimes when we actually perform this integration we may not get 1 but a constant say n in that case what we do is that we bring this n on the left side to have 1 on the right side that is 1 by n integral psi star psi d tau from minus infinity to plus infinity is equal to 1 then we can also choose to distribute this 1 by n between the wave function and its complex conjugate so we write integral minus infinity to plus infinity 1 by root n psi star 1 by root n psi d tau is equal to 1. This factor 1 by root n psi is called as normalized wave function. So this is called as normalized wave function. And this constant 1 by root n is called as normalization constant. Now let us pick up an example to understand the same. For example, we have a particle in a one-dimensional box whose wave function is given by psi is equal to a sine pi x by l. Previously also you have solved certain examples of this kind, so it will be easy for you to follow this. Now if we have to find this normalization constant a, we proceed as integral psi star psi dx is equal to integral, for this it is a square, then it is sine square pi x by l dx. Of course, the limits are from 0 to l, that is the length of the one-dimensional box in which the particle is staying. Now, this will be equal to a square integral. I hope that I don't need to write it separately, that for sine square, I will choose to write this way. Because we know that 2i sine square theta is equal to 1 minus cos of 2 theta. So, further a factor of 2 will come out. Integration is from 0 to L. So, this is a square by 2. Here it is integral, of course it is dx. dx from 0 to L minus integral cos of 2 pi x by L dx integral 0 to L. So this is equal to a square by 2, here an L will come out and we know that this integral is equal to 0 because integration of cos of 2 pi is equal to sine of 2 pi and sine of sine n pi is 0 for all values of n. So we are left with this factor only and we know that this total probability was equal to 1. So this a square by 2 L is equal to 1. So that way this a is 2 by l under root. So the normalized wave function will be written as psi is equal to instead of a we will now write at 2 by l under root sine of pi x by l. So this is how we have normalized and unnormalized wave function. And you have already done the examples of this kind. It will be easy for you to follow the same. And I hope that improves upon your concept. That's all.